Hi, Don Campbell here with Expand to Web, and today I'd like to show you how to sign up for my preferred hosting provider, uh, Bluehost, and how to create a WordPress blog on Bluehost within just a couple of minutes. So if you go to expandweb.com and look on the right hand sidebar, that's my link to signing up for Bluehost. And if you'd use that link, I'd really appreciate it. They give me a couple of bucks. Um, and when you go there, you're just going to get a uh, sign up now button in the middle of the screen. Just click that. And it's going to ask you for a domain name. So you get a free domain name with Bluehost. You can also transfer your existing domain over, but you might as well take advantage of getting the free one. And so just grab a domain name and click next. And if that domain is available, it'll take you to a screen where you just enter in some basic information uh, about your account. And you get, I think it's about, right now it's $6.95 a month if you sign up for 12 months. So that's a really good deal. And you'll see in a minute why Bluehost is my, um, is my preferred provider here. So I'm going to log in now to Bluehost and show you uh, what's going on there. So. And we'll install WordPress and it'll just take a minute and you'll see what I mean. It's just so they make it so easy. So I'm logging in right now to my control panel in Bluehost. And from here I can do all kinds of different stuff. I can set up my email, um, website, all kinds of different things. What we're interested in is this icon right here called Simple Scripts. Now when I go into Simple Scripts, there's a bunch of different apps that I can install. What we're gonna do is install WordPress. So that's what we care about. We're gonna click on WordPress right here. And it's going to ask me a couple of questions, and literally in seconds, you're going to have your um, your website. So I click on Install, and here are the options that I do. Basically, you're going to pick which version of WordPress you want. We'll just pick the latest stable version. Now, on this field right here, if you want your blog or your website to be at the root of your domain, meaning it's like mybusiness.com, and that's right where the everything goes to, then you leave this empty. Now if you want it in a subfolder, like you want it in a separate directory for your blog, then you type that in here. In my case, I'm just going to type that in. I'm going to give it a name. Normally you probably wouldn't give it a folder name. In my case, I'm doing that because I have a bunch of sites on this domain. And then you just give your, your blog a name and have it generate a random uh, password for you. And click the, the uh, terms and conditions and hit complete. And now it's going to go off, Simple Scripts is going to go off, create your database, set everything up on your site and then come back and give you all the all the details. So here you can see it's at work right now in a couple of seconds. It's going to be done and then we're going to have a website. Now this is your password which you're going to want to write that down um, and then change it first thing when you get in and, and into your site. But that's your, your password and these are all the credentials you need to log into your site. And there you go. You've got your own blog that's already set up. This is just the default theme. Now you can knock yourself out going and getting new themes and plugins and there's all kinds of cool stuff available. But uh, anyway, that's all there is to it. Literally just takes a few minutes to set it up and, um, and that's it. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you um, set up your first blog soon. Thanks.